Hello my dear brothers and sisters, welcome everyone to another video. Psalm 10 is a powerful poetic expression present in the Bible's Book of Psalms, which addresses themes of divine justice, the perception of God's apparent distance during times of distress and the confrontation between the wicked and the righteous. This psalm, like many others, is attributed to King David, known for his poetic and musical skill, but it also reflects the experiences and emotions shared by many throughout the ages. At the beginning of Psalm 10, the psalmist turns to God with a profound question, questioning the apparent divine absence in moments of anguish. The words resonate with the universality of human experiences, capturing the feeling of helplessness and the search for meaning in the midst of adversity. The poetic narrative unfolds to describe the arrogance of the wicked, who exploit and oppress the weakest, defying divine order and disregarding ethical principles. The vivid depiction of the character of the wicked highlights their reliance on impunity while their actions harm the vulnerable. The psalmist highlights the audacity of these individuals, whose words and actions disdain God and mock divine laws. However, in the midst of this dark narrative, the psalmist seeks comfort in the certainty of divine justice and appeals to the Lord to intervene in favor of the oppressed. Psalm 10, as an integral part of the Judeo-Christian tradition, continues to be a source of spiritual reflection and solace for many believers, providing a rich poetic language that gives voice to the complexities of human experiences in the face of adversity. His call for divine intervention and defense of the oppressed resonates through the centuries, inspiring a continued search for justice, compassion, and faith in challenging times. Let's now reflect on Psalm 10 and then we will pray our Father Amen. Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In his arrogance the wicked man hunts down the weak. Who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts about the cravings of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. In his pride, the wicked man does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. His ways are always prosperous. Your laws are rejected by him. He sneers at all his enemies. He says to himself, nothing will ever shake me. He swears, no one will ever do me harm. His mouth is full of lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambush, he murders the innocent. His eyes watch in secret for his victims. Like a lion in cover, he lies in wait. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless and drags them off in his net. His victims are crushed, they collapse. They fall under his strength. He says to himself, God will never notice. He covers his face and never sees. Arise, Lord. Lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself? He won't call me to account. But you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked man. Call the evildoer to account for his wickedness. That would not otherwise be found out. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations will perish from his land. You, Lord, hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them, and you listen to their cry. Defending the fatherless and the oppressed. 
so that mere earthly mortals will never again strike terror. Lord, my God and Father, I ask you to bless each of these people, to protect them and free them from all evil. Grant them comfort in their hearts, remove all fear, weakness, hurt, anxiety and depression. Free, rescue them. From all the enemy's traps, Lord, and heal those who are sick, whether in hospital beds or in other places. Visit them by your power. My God and Heavenly Father, in humility and reverence, we approach you at this time, crying out for your divine intervention and blessing upon all the hearts that have taken the time to contemplate the sacred words of this psalm. You are the God who heals wounds, who protects and blesses his children, and we trust in your mercy and love in this special time. Lord, look tenderly on each person who heard this psalm, knowing the joys and pains that reside in their hearts. We ask, Father, that you heal all emotional, physical and spiritual wounds that may exist. You are the great doctor, capable of restoring and renewing. May hope flourish and peace overflow like a river, flooding every area of need. In your sovereign hands, we place the protection of all those who were here, Father. We know that we live in a world full of challenges, but we trust that your protective hand is upon us. Send your angels to surround and guard each person, warding off all evil and freeing them from all the snares of the enemy. May the presence of the Holy Spirit be felt as an inviolable fortress. Lord, in your infinite love, abundantly bless those who, with sincerity, sought your presence at this moment. Grant dreams of prosperity, not only material but also spiritual and emotional. May each home be permeated by your grace, providing a life of quality and meaning for the families represented here. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whose sacrifice reconciled us to you, we lift up this prayer. May she be like sweet incense before your throne. Beloved Heavenly Father, in humility and reverence, entering into your sovereign presence, reconnoitering your majesty and power. Lord, I pray that your divine anointing may flow abundantly upon every person who is present in this sacred moment of reflection and adoration. Renew, O Lord, the spiritual life of each one of them. May the Chama de Fe burn more intensely, illuminating your hearts with the knowledge of your word. Train yourselves, Pi, to be powerful instruments in yours, raising the light of the gospel to all who are lost and needy. Grant wisdom, O Deus, to each one of your children who seeks to follow your paths may they be guided by the Holy Spirit in every decision and that your will prevail in all areas of their lives. Lord, extend your mouths of healing to those who face illnesses. It was done in a hospital bed, touching its restorative power. May your glory be manifested through miraculous cures, so that the testimony of your goodness may be proclaimed. Rebuke, O God, every evil mushroom that is launched against the families represented here. May the peace of the Lord surround the lands and may harmony reign, destroying any work of others. Liberate, Pi, those who face family challenges, guiding them with your loving mouth. Lord Jesus, I thank you for hearing this prayer and for being alive in the lives that I heard. Continue to work in every heart, strengthening faith, renewing hope and showering blessings in measure. In the name of Senor Jesus, Amen. Our Father in heaven, blessed be your name. Your kingdom eats. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. Just as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, 
the honor and the glory, today, tomorrow and forever. Amen. Glory to God. In the impactful ending of Psalm 10, the psalmist intensifies his supplications, calling for divine intervention in the face of the impiety that permeates the world. By asking for the arm of the wicked to be broken and for justice to be restored, the psalmist not only expresses the pain caused by oppression, but also reaffirms confidence in the Lord's sovereignty and righteous government. The end of Psalm 10 resonates with the conviction that God is eternal and reigns over all nations. In this recognition of divine transcendence, there is the certainty that, despite the apparent temporary victories of the wicked, final and lasting justice belongs to the Lord. The narrative rises beyond the immediate circumstances, pointing to God's eternal sovereignty over the history and destiny of nations. By stating that the Lord hears the desire of the afflicted and defends the orphans and oppressed, Psalm 10 culminates in a note of hope. God's attention to the needs of the weakest is proclaimed as an unshakable truth, an anchor for the soul amidst the storms of life. After all, the God portrayed in this psalm is not just the distant sovereign, but the active defender of the helpless. This expansive conclusion to Psalm 10 echoes through the ages, serving as a source of comfort and encouragement for those facing injustice and adversity. The message endures, inviting believers to place their trust in the Lord, confident that divine justice will prevail. In the closing of this sacred poetry, Psalm 10 transcends its original context, becoming a resonant voice that echoes in the hearts of those who seek meaning, hope, and redemption on their spiritual journey.